Peace War. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the internet. I am your host, the Antiquities War. So, we got two more packs. Several people in chat said today's the day. Today's the day for the Karn. Antiquities War, to be clear, just so we're all on the same page, is not a Karn. Um, I think I've uploaded 35 drafts or something to YouTube. And I know I've done at least four others that didn't go up on YouTube. So, um... It's... 40 drafts seems like a good amount to hit one Karn. 120 packs? Seems like a reasonable amount. If I opened 120 packs in real life and didn't hit one Karn, I'd probably be a little upset. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's not the same online because there's not print runs and, um, you know, theoretically all of these packs could be from different boxes. So, you know, it's hard to, hard to assume that they'd all... I could just be missing the Karns every single time. Either way, we're taking the settle the score, I believe. But I do like Sap Herd and Thorn Elemental a lot. Anyway. You guys are going to get Karn rants out of me up until the point where we open a Karn. So, you better hope it's sooner rather than later, boy. Now we only have a Divest. I think we're probably taking Fire Fist Adept. And, and being sad, we didn't take the Adelise. Or we can take, actually, Sap Herd seems good, too. If we pass this and the person next to us takes the Adelies, then we can force them into the Wizards. Or we can take this Sap Herd. I'm going to take Sap Herd. And then there was nothing. Sad days. Gift of Growth and Llanowar Envoy are not really as good as Blink of an Eye or Deep Freeze. I guess we can actually take either one of these and then just not care about one of the two cards. 200 packs. On, on on moto 200 moto bucks I think I like blink of an eye better it says draw a card on it so I'm going to take the card that says draw a card now I want to take this academy journey mage I mean I'm not going to the blue cards are clearly coming. We also got a Sapperling Migration. But I think Journey Mage is probably the better pick. And the Cloud Reader Sphinx. So, all right. The blue cards are clearly where it's at at the moment. Um, I don't know if we're black or green here. Either way, I don't think it's this pack is great for us. We could just take the Kelden Raider and be the blue red deck that we've we've passed. Oop. All right, well we're not gonna be able to log into this now actually because I have to get my pass right now and it's a whole whole to do. Um, I'm probably just taking the corrosive ooze. What did you do before the break? Oh, we played some standard. Yeah, that pack wasn't great for anything. <laughs> We played uh, mono black, mono black. Uh, it's like the mid range control standard deck. Someone had commissioned that, so we tried that out. Ended up going three two, so not terrible. Uh, the two, it was very, they were very decisive wins. I think we went two zero in all of our wins, and o two in all of our losses. So all the matches are pretty decisive. I'm gonna take another journey mage here. Man, haters gonna hate. All right, I like our blue a lot. Our blue is easily the best color we have by a sizable margin. Baloth Gorger. All right. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, Gorgie's probably the pick here. All right, we'll move the settle the score and we'll bring in the corrosive ooze. Mono red. Oh my God, Zora! How are we even? How are you even? How do you even support me? We feel like I feel like we're so different. We're from two different worlds, my friend. I want to take Broken Bond. It's more relevant than Ace Theer Glider. I do like a good Mono Black, though. Don't get me wrong. I like Mono Black Control significantly better than I like Mono Black, like, mid-range. I guess we'll take the Ooze. I mean, I don't care about an opt. I'd rather just have another two drop. I also, I, you know what? Talarian Scholar has become a necessary evil in this format. 
I'm going to take Fungal Infection. No, I'll take the Worm. Worm can actually win games, especially if you have the... Wow, this is a lot of Corrosive Oozes. Our opponent's equipments are not going to have a chance. And a Divest. How many drives and lending furs do we need to trade in to get a Hungry Howie's Pizza? Boy, not enough, that's for sure. Because I would make that trade every day. I would actively draft drives and lending infernos just to get just to get the pizza. Boy, if they was tree fitty, I would actually. Oh no, you're talking about the oozes. Yeah, I think two oozes is actually too many, but they're two drops. They're two twos for two. What happened? Unseen Spectre, 14 months in a war. In a, in a, I was going to say in a woe. Uh, Unseen Spectre, 14 months in a woe. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate the sub. I would say, oh boy, another not Karn, not Teferi, not Lyra. That's great. Our situation is funny because by the time we actually open a card like Lyra, actually, she's already down to like eight, so. You know, Teferi's up to like 26, so that's cool. I'm going to take Zaheed. Because it's not terrible. No, it's actually very, very good. What do I think about Mardo Pyromancer? Is that a, the deck? I think it's fine. I mean, it's not really my type of deck is the problem. Joyra. Interesting. I want to take the Spore Swarm. I think the Spore Swarm is fantastic. Also not the mythic we're looking for. Yeah, hopefully the sap herd comes back because no one appreciates it. I appreciate you, sap herd. I got you. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna straight up lose my shit right now. I can't. <laughs> I absolutely can't. Oh, crying out loud. Yep, our monetization just got just got hit. So bummer. <laughs> I'm just taking divination. We got the little bird. <laughs> oh, that was oh, that's amazing. I don't know why I got uh, that was funnier than it should have been. And then nothing. Oh, jousting lance is actually reasonable. I like divination better than scout. Oh, elfheim druid. I like elfheim druid better than all. Oh, weight of memory. Yes, please. All right, this deck is this deck is becoming a spicy meatball. Foil whisper. Do you have anybody splash so far? No. Hmm. Uh, you missed what happened because I'm mostly listening. I'm sad. You missed me opening. Well, getting past a third pick, Jaya's Immolating Inferno. So I had that going for us. I think we'll take the unwind. It's probably actually Nature Spiral could be good with the Zaheed and a Cloud Reader Sphinx and. I like the. I think Nature Spiral is probably underappreciated. I'm gonna take the Nature Spiral. Every version of Magic have a trash drag. Yeah, that's correct. But they're usually pretty okay. So you know. Uh, 
There's an unwind. All right. I like having an unwind in the sideboard. I like that we can tap our Jousting Lance to cast the Heat on turn four. That's pretty okay. Also, don't believe the uh, the goal. It's we're at two ninety one, not two ninety two. One recurring Jaya Buck. Well, that's you know what? If you commit to to giving one recur a Jaya Buck, recurring Jaya Buck, we are uh, y you might be broke before you know it. But that being the case, Kerwin, thank you so much for the the, the Jaya Buck. Really appreciate it, buddy. Someone should make a compilation of every time I've opened uh, Inferno because, boy, you are in for a heck of a, com a compilation. Billy, are you gonna be are you gonna be playing tonight? Are you gonna be playing some standard tonight? I'm tempted to go to the. I'm, actually, I'm not tempted. I'm probably gonna go to the store and play some standard tonight. So. Oh, we get to we get to hang out tonight, Billy. That's pretty sweet. I'm excited. I are excited. Memorial to Genius seems pretty good. I'll take that. Damping Sphere came back. Don't people know how broken that is? Oh, my Ley Line of Sanctities. They've been gone for so long. God, it's been literally like eight months since he until he borrowed those. No one has that kind of time. You are correct. I'm going to take the Radiant Lighting just in case. Oh, Kerwit, one crippling depression. <laughs> oh, the old cri crippling depression buck, a classic. I'm taking cards that I like for... So this They're like very relevant sideboard cards in this format. That sometimes you just want to pick up. Radiant Lightning, Pierce the Sky, and Broken Bond are three of them. We do need a lot more playables now. Oh, a self-replicator. That's fantastic. Like you do. All right. Well, we didn't open anything good. I thought today was going to be Karn Day. I thought we could send out the positive Karn vibes into the universe and really have a have a good shot, but unfortunately it did not work that way. So Instead, I'm just going to take Spore Crown Thalid because that guy is a boss. Sylvan Awakening, ooh. Ooh. I think that's a winner. I've never actually played this card, but I think it's a winner. A game winner. Rite of Belzenlock. Okay, well, it's pretty good. Settle the score as well. I could just take the short sword. Uh, am I going to play Sultai Reanimator at FNM? No, probably not. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know that was a deck. Is that a standard deck? Short sword will 100% play. One of these two we will not play. Short sword it is. I like Animus. I also like another Baloth Gorger, and our four spot's pretty sl pretty low. How much removal do we have? Like, basically none. Just Journey Mage and Blink of an Eye, right? Mm, that's pretty bad. We also only, only have 11 creatures. I'm going to take the Gorger here. I don't think Animus is the best removal there is, and we can just get this one anyway, so it's, it's basically fine. Yeah, it's Animus here. All right. Oh! <gasps> Hooray! Everything is coming up Millhouse. Oh, another Animus. Alright. Well. Well then. That was great. We could also splash for this Rona. I think it's second Animus. Animus is removal. Alright, this is 23. I don't actually care about Corrosive Ooze, to be quite honest. Don't you splash it. Don't you do it. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. All right. So all the Animus has come back. I'm not going to play three, but I'm, I like having three, I guess. I don't even know. So one of the 
for the sadness of seeing another inferno mtg pyro it's funny because your name is mtg pyro so i feel like you would have appreciated it ancient anus dot deck <laughs> oh elk tears why are you the way that you are one of the I ordered one of these one of these Lyras that I ordered on eBay that still hasn't come yet. I paid for it on uh, the tenth, so eleven days ago. And uh, the dude was like, last Thursday he was like, or last Wednesday he was like, it's all right, it's going out tomorrow, man. I promise it's going out tomorrow. And uh, still didn't still hasn't gone out yet. So I emailed him and I'm like, hey man, is this what's the deal with this card? I really don't really need it anymore because it's been eleven days and I, I bought too many Lyras anyway um, because I didn't get this in eleven days. And it's not even that not even that he shipped it and I got it eleven days later. He hasn't even shipped it eleven days later, so um I was just like, hey, what's the deal? And he's like, Hey, um I I'm sorry about this. I'm giving you two extra rares with your order. And I'm like, dude, I don't need I don't need rares. I just want the card I ordered. But I don't even need it now, so can you just refund me? And he's like, Yeah, I'll just refund you right away. And I was like, Okay, cool. That was an hour ago, so I don't know. Hopefully we'll get it. What are you going to play at the game store? I'm probably going to play my, my Jeskai list. I've been having, having a good time with that. Actually, there was a change I was going to make. And this is the deck I'm... This is the list I have currently. I added one Kefnet. I don't actually like the Gideons. I was tempted to put one Fight with Fire in here over Gideon. Because in the late game, it just deals 10 to their dome. But, all right, I guess this is our deck. We got a little Swamp as the last pick. What? Was it Yabe? Was it Yabe? Was that what it was? J it was Yabe, right? Jabe? It was Yabe? Either way, thank you so much for the sub. Totally appreciate it. Run Joyra. That's interesting. I don't hate that as much as I should. I don't like Jaya, though. I don't think she's very good. Sorry, Jaya. No offense. This is 13 creatures plus a Spore Swarm. Plus a... Natural Spiral. Plus a Sylvan Awakening, which is a bunch of creatures. I think this deck looks good. Really? You don't like this deck? This deck isn't the best one we've ever drafted. I don't think it is... So Jabay, Jabay, 13, one for every one of your Infernos I think you've opened. That is, I think I've opened more than 13. Um, I think I have 11. I have 11 and I've definitely passed at least two. So I think 13 is probably pretty close to where we should be at. I only want this guy in the deck because double journey mage. Envoy might be better, but probably not. 2-3, I think 2-3 is stronger than 3-2 in this format. Because this guy can block all the call the cavalry tokens and stuff. I think this deck looks fine. Haters gonna hate. Lovers gonna love. I don't need... Jabe? So Jabe, let me know if that's correct. Jabe. I'm gonna try I'm, I'm I'm getting it. I'm gonna get it. Nice. I will never forget that. I'll, I'll I might forget it. I cannot guarantee forgetting will not happen. I will join the match. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right there, R. Kelly. I don't like this hand. I don't like it. I like this hand better. I like it. Chef Snake is exactly how it sounds. You know, I had a feeling about that. I'm going to put you on the bottom just because you don't do anything for me. Oh, they mold to four? Holy smoke. I like the uh, turn four Sylvan Awakening gets in there for two. That's pretty. That's pretty aggressive, right? Elk Tears, what are you thanking me for, buddy? Oh, that was a good draw. Uh. 
Oh, look at old... Look at old Halar. Look at him. Is this a fungus wizard? Dang, no fungus wizard, huh? Sad. Now do we play Druid or just play, we'll just play Gorger, right? They're not going to be kicking anything on turn three. Do I ever play EDH? Uh, not, not, not regularly. Oh, a Keldon Overseer. This is a double attack. Tends to just block here. Like, we're going to win the long game, considering we have, like, four extra cards, five extra cards. They were on the draw, went to four. So we have four extra cards from our opening hand. And then we drew an extra card from Divination, so we are five cards ahead. That seems good. Plus, we don't actually have any other fungals. Wow. Wow, what is even happening right now? Oh, I guess we just kill that guy. Actually, maybe we just bounce him. Let's do that. And next turn we can play Elfheim and Ancient Animus. Or we can just play Primordial Worm if we draw land. Elk Tears posted this up above for your consideration. Elk oh, did I just miss it? Quacker and I have a league team draft tonight, and we are playing the most uh, notoriously spiky team in the league. Can you offer an advice on how to keep our composure under extreme spikiness? And also, could you wish us luck? I didn't even see that, and you're getting all... You're getting all upset. Unbelievable. Uh, okay, so the question is... Offer advice on how to keep your composure under extreme spikiness. I can't actually offer that advice because I am usually the um, the arbiter of extreme spikiness. So usually it's my opponent who needs to keep their composure under that, under those circumstances. Um, and, and yeah, definitely. Good luck. Good luck to both you guys. Because you guys are my favorites. And I love you all. Like my little children. You're like my little spiky children. <laughs> it sounds very strange now. Oh, my little spiky lads. He is an emotional guy. You're, you're right. I just nerded on a spreadsheet. After 120 packs, you are 36% to not pull a Karn at all. 36.94% to pull one. 18.47% to pull two. And 6.11 to pull three. Interesting. Interesting. That's true. I do miss a lot as I'm mulling over the lack of Karns and the the abundance of immolating infernos. That's just life. <sighs> yeah, let's just close out the game. Little spiky children, like that one mutant from X Men Evolution. Yeah, the same one. Three Karns and seven drafts. What are the odds on that? I don't know. Probably a million percent if you're not me. I didn't see anything worthy, worthy of Pierce the Sky or Broken Bond. I'm just going to submit. Also, currently we do have 292 subs. So for the first time all day, like a broken clock, it is worth, it is, it is correct. Any desire to get back on the PT? None at all, and no, that will that is not the goal. I just don't care about the, I don't care about competitive magic. I don't care about GPS or PTs. I don't. That is not uh, the funnest form of magic to me. Like right now, what we're doing right now, hanging out in the stream, like joking around, playing casual drafts where there's no pressure, like that's more fun to me, to be quite honest. So. Plus, I've already like after having top aided one like. Like, I'm good. You know? It's it's a weird thing to say, but... It's just... I, I feel like that's, like, a milestone a lot of people want to have or are or, or aiming for as their goal. And, um, you know... As you know, as someone who's reached that, like, I feel like, cool. I'm good to go. 
Um, do we like Talarian Scottles just in case we hit? Yeah. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Also, yeah, full of tryhards, hundred percent. That that is a hundred percent. Not only that, but like I mean, like I love a lot of people on the PT. Like no, no, no disrespect to them. Like that's the PT was a great experience, and I I love that I have it. But um, alternatively, like traveling and preparing for that is exhausting. It's a very very exhausting thing to do. And like, if you want to do it well, you're going to be away from home for a long time. Like, there's tons of. It's not just like. Hey, the PT's this weekend. I'll leave Thursday morning. Get back Tuesday. Like, it's way more than that. It's like a lot of stress for weeks and weeks. All right. Well, this... Our opponent's draws have not been going ideally. Although, if they have Radiant Destiny. Radiant Destiny's Child. Keep this blink of an eye up just in case. Oh, God. Don't Radiant Destiny. Don't Radiant Lightning, bro. I felt the same way after my first Noah Peace Prize. It's like, I'm good. What? I think I just want to bounce that guy. I feel like replaying that guy is probably just better than bouncing anything they have. Get in there, little kids. These are my little sappy children. Are you dead? One, you're dead, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. You block here. I don't even want none of the above. Oh, you, you are no longer dead, but now you have still died. The death has become you. We bounce that guy because it's ramp, and it, it doesn't matter. So that's why. All right. Well, what is this link quacker? What are you? What are you sending me? Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, I would definitely like to work on a design of an existing card game rather than create my own. I don't think it's, I think it's a, I think it's, I, I hate to say it, I think it's a fool's errand to create your own card game in this, in this, in this world. Like, there are too many card games and it's very, very hard to have a successful card game that either isn't taking away a ton of things from, from other existing card games that are successful or that is actually going to manage to, um, amass enough of a, of, of a, a following or a support to be successful. So I think it's just best to work on the ones that exist now and try to make those the best they can. Oh, sappy or jalapeno children? I don't know. The jalapeno children are a little spicier. I'll keep this. Oh, I'll definitely keep this hand. I, I was going to keep it before I saw the Elfheim druid. Now it's like... Now it's not even close. All right. So turn three this guy into any one of these jobbies. Probably this guy into this guy once we draw land. Stop calling them all guys. They're ladies. That's true. They are ladies. Do you like board games? I do like board games, but I don't. Are you going to syncopate this? Wow. That's the rudest thing I've ever experienced. Sure. You got it. Whatever joke's on you, my curve is still epic. I'm a Satsiki. That's true. You are. Oh, your guy's better. Boom, 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 boom. This is a fine trade. I'll deal with that. 
Why aren't they, why isn't this a fungus wizard? You're a fungus wizard, Hattie. I feel like I almost want to just play this now because they have counter spells. Whatever. I don't care. If you counter this, then Tatio is probably going to resolve. And uh, I don't imagine you have that many ways to get rid of it. You could have a deep freeze. I don't want to block this now. Good lord. I'll just bounce you next turn. That's what we're going to do. That's what Brian Mortana did. No, no, I wasn't singing. Was I singing it? Oh, no. I'm so bad at it. It just pops into my head. It's just a a, a real catchy tune. Sure. Ain't nobody got time for that. It is. It's a, It's totally the bums. Gonna send your knight back home. Just make it your ringtone already. Never. Oh, God. I'd rather die. Alright, that's a little extreme, but I don't think we're attacking here. I don't feel any reason to just trade one for three damage. I don't think I've played Scythe. They have two cards in hand. We have a Divination and a Tatiova. I don't actually like playing this until I can actually... Um, what do you call it? Draw cards off of it. That's what I'm saying here. So... Now I'll tap with everything because the, the value is higher. You block here, you take eight. Seems fine. Yeah, of course I love them. These are my little sappy boys. Little sappy cuties. They could have got a free attack there. They don't know how Voltaic Servant works. Amateur hour. Stop, stop. He's already dead. So now we deal seven if they want to block the sappy boy. I guess they're going to kill this guy, which is actually good because then we can play Tatiova and uh, not worry about a counter spell. So they go to 10. What do you think about the battle bond spoilers? I don't actually, I don't actually care about them. Unless there's cool legacy cards or vintage cards, I don't care. Because it's just like the odds, like how frequently am I going to play, play two at a giant? Not that frequently. I think it's cool. I like supplemental products. I think they're cool. I like having the cards for cubes. So if there's cool cube cards in there, I'm 100% I'm on board. Um, the problem is just that, like, as a two-headed giant format, like, I don't do that enough. I am not saying what you just said, Robert. Just to be clear. Robert, are you proposing that we're going to go to this Battle Bond pre-release together and be a, a two-headed giant team? Our hand is all gas. This draws us two. This draws us one and, and, and bounces their idiot. This draws us one. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I don't know if a two-headed giant stream is possible because I doubt they're going to put this on, on Moto. Plus, you'd have to have like two computers, right? Um, yeah, you could have Gideon's Reproach. I'll just take two. You could also just be, like, bluffing me and then getting those two free points in, and then don't I feel sheepish. Oh, that's actually great for us. Um, one, two, three, four. I'll play a land. One, two, three, four. Actually, if we put it on you, then it forces you to block. Otherwise, you take five. If I put it on you, you just block here, and then you take four. That seems worse. It also might not even be worth attacking with these guys anymore. We do put you to four, but I guess she's lethal every turn anyway, so...
Here's here's Elkthir's reaction. Nerd. That's fantastic. I knew it was happening before it happened, and I got excited about that. I'll take two. Man, they play Academy Drake for seven, and then we just bounce it and we draw a card. Good lord. The irony is that our opponent's name is Homer J, so we just uh, we just played a Simpsons clip while our opponent's name is Homer J, presumably Simpson. No, oh, I see a time of ice. How nice. The ice so nice they had to tap things twice. Um, that was good. Oh, you didn't want to. You didn't want to kick it this time, huh? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no point in kicking this guy because they'll just bounce it. I will draw another card though. Oh, I um, yeah. There's no point of attacking even if we move this over for three mana. Like they just block it here, so our attacks are pretty bad. I will, however, draw three cards. Huh, 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 got a handful of cards. Five cards plus a Tatiova plus a Divination. So, oh, you're going to bounce my Sappy Boy? Wow, Billy, that was an amazing. I didn't know you're. cringing so hard right now oh yeah do please please run that guy into my corrosive ooze please do that oh my god it's actually pretty good One, two, three, move you over here. Move you as well. The problem is this guy gets bounced if we attack with it, but I think we're still going to have to eat something. Why don't you have trample, I wonder? These are the questions we ask ourselves. All right. How have they drawn more cards than us? Oh, Milsha Misha self-replicator. That's good to know. I guess they did double divinate, but we also waited memory and drawed at least three. From, drawed <laughs> drew at least three from this. I guess they double divinated and teferied a few times. So magic's hard, man. Secret Alien, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I wonder if the opponent changed his avatar after drafting Teferi. Maybe. They're like, oh, I did it. I opened a Teferi. I will be a Teferi. One, two, three, four, eight. We have ten mana. Sylvan Awakening would be insane. Avid Fictionaut, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. 
Got the sub train rolling. You guys are great. The goal has not changed, but it is at 293. Yeah, it's on board. It's not. Oh, and I see. A classic. Draw. Mm. Play you. Play land. It's pretty good. It's one of your last two cards in the counter spell. All right, you got it. Seems good. Oh, boy. I bet there will be a Rob stream if we hit the goal. Tempest Gin, and you got a little, a little unicorn boy. Well, Tefri's looking pretty good. Pretty good to, to ultimate here, unfortunately. Grimacing Buddha, thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Time Brood. Frank Mike Rob Billy Stream. That is a that is a packed stream right there, buddy. I dropped out of the loop for a bit, but I've officially graduated with my master's degree in community watch live. Awesome. I have a fiction out. Congrats, buddy. That's pretty sick. Man. We're also at 294, so we're pretty close. Are we just going to lose to Teferi here? So five, ten, a million. This guy's a six four. It's pretty big. What do we got? Eleven mana. If we divination here, do we just win? If we divination into, um, we'd have so we, one two three one two three. So we'd have five two twos. It's eight guys. Tap one, block three. So it'd take ten, gain three. I think we'd win. Assuming they don't have anything else. Our odds are getting pretty good that we draw it. Five, six, seven, eight. So we can go Thalid. What's going on here? You guys are going crazy. No beats. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to uh, No Remac Thirteen. This is actually tricky because we want to we want to win, but we also don't want to not win. Oh man! If you gifted a sub, you got to at least use mine, right? Uh, six god. Like, they just tap this, and then they have profitable blocks here and here. I don't think we can actually not... We'll just go to... Mm, yeah, we're just going to play two guys here. <laughs> oh... Yeah, the After Dark stream is where I go to I go to Walmart. Mm. 
Frank, I don't know you. I may, I even may or may not like you. Furthermore, I may or may not be ghosting you right now. I just came out of your stream to tell you that I pulled a card in the second pack of Dominaria open. I also heard someone say in chat on your stream that they pulled a Teferi in the first pack. Your opponent obviously pulled that Teferi in their third pack after getting blue-white signals throughout the draft. Have a nice day. See you at 6%. Okay. Seems good. All right. We assumed that was going to happen. So... We're going to play Gorgie and Karosi. Can you counter this guy? Cinco paid for a million? Seems good. All right. So next time we get to draw at least one card. That was an aggressive message. Two ninety five, we're closing in. The Game Zone Twitch. Thanks so much. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. We are real close now. My God, is today the day? Is today the day? I don't know what to do when we get to 300, though. Me and Mike were joking about doing a, a jalapeno chip eating stream, which I guess if you're eating chips on stream, uh, it doubles as an ASMR stream, so that's good. Oof, the double time of ice, huh? That's pretty good. Double time of ice Teferi deck, eh? That's uh that's a thing. What are you tapping down? Sappy? Old sappy boy? Okay. Well, Teferi might ultimate next turn. That's pretty scary. Untap your landies. One time, give me that Sylvan Ancient Animus. One time, give me that single and ancient animus. This is a pretty good use of sappy. A sappy boy that never untappies. That sappy never untappies. We have seven, they have ten. I don't think we're going to get to a point where, like, we're, I don't think we're going to count libraries just because we have sylvan, sylvan lands. So at that point, we just probably win the game, so... Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. So we can play both of these, both of these BB, BB, BB boys. I think we're in a place where we can actually profitably attack your guy. That was not how I wanted to tap at all. That was actually horrendous. I did not mean to click that many times. That feels like a, a mouse error. If, if anything. Do we just win the game here? Do we not care about your Teferi? No, I don't think we can win the game here. If you could design your own magic card, what would it be? That's a... That's the size. I can't believe they tapped this way. Like, that was completely unintentional. That was not, uh, I meant to tap two here and then two here. Or, like, uh, one here and two here. But it just tapped all three. Or two here, even one here. Any, any one that lets me play one of these cards is really where we wanted to be, but. Sure. Actually, I would never attack with that anyway, so. Uh, attack you. Uh, attack Teferi, attack Teferi. Sure. Sure. Yeah, that's that might cost us the game. But we're going to draw two as well, so... Yeah, that was insane. I can't believe that. 
I'm just going to pass here. They're going to tap one of our guys down, but then they also have Icy, so they're going to tap both of our guys down. So we're going to try to win by drawing our Sylvan Awakening and hoping they don't have Counterspell. That is our... Sure. Did they just get rid of Tefri right here? That would be insane, right? Yeah, the deck seems great. We're definitely bringing bro Broken Bond for sure. And Unwind. Broken Bond and Unwind are definitely coming in. Wow, aggressive. Maybe draw a card. Exile a permanent. Okay. Seems good. But now you have to draw cards. You only get one card per turn. <laughs> I totally didn't make you feel bad. I like that your default is guilt. I point out, I make an observation, and your default response is guilt. You're like, oh, you're trying to make me feel bad. No, that's not true at all. There it is. Don't have a counter spell. That's all I really want. You have two cards. You can't have a third single page. That'd be ridiculous. Why would you play three single page? That's too many you have in your deck right now. Do 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 do. You do. You have a syncopate. Wow. Third syncopate. That's pretty impressive. So now they go tap a guy, untap, tap another guy, and they bounce three of our guys. This doesn't untap our guys, right? It's pretty bad. What does having the mana matter? <laughs> like, if we pay it, all of our guys become lands and they all get bounced to the time of ice. Like, that's insane, dude. All right. So, cast. No, they remain creatures until your next turn. They definitely do get bounced. Until your next turn, all your lands become 2-2s. Two they 1,000% get bounced. Uh, island on the bottom. Scholar on the top, because it's a thing, I guess. So you get to exile one, tap the other... That's pretty good. Oh, wow, they didn't tap this. That's great. I don't know how we win this match because they emblem of Teferi. That's pretty good. Is this for real? You get back Mishra's... Seriously? Got 13 lands, huh? They literally had to have syncopate in hand. That's kind of unbelievable. Six, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they can forever tap one, and they're always going to be able to exile a permanent. Yep, it's pretty insane. Divination number three. Sure, why not? I mean, they have ten minutes to win the game. We only have two cards in our deck, so I guess that should be easy. And we know one of them is an island, so... How can we deck them? No, we still have two versus their five. That still is not... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. We can't get way to memory because it's a uh, permanent. And the, the mill is target player. Otherwise, that would be sick. You, know, you mill them for three, you put them to two. And we know the last card's an island. Super unfortunate. So. And island. Well, this is a main ability, so we can still play the land. It just doesn't do anything. Oh, it is, it is actually not a main ability. I could have sworn I had the ability to do it, but... Yep, cool. That was surprisingly unreal. All right, bringing in you, bringing in you. A thousand percent. Pierce the sky. We didn't see many flyers. Gaia's blessing seems legit, actually. Let's do that. Let's take out one animus. Wasn't super useful. We'll take out nature's spiral. And we'll just go to 20. We'll go to 41. Gaia's Blessing is gas. You want to have one of them decks again? All right. This is our ideal curve. <laughs> you don't like that? What's modern legal now? I have no idea. That's a, such a random statement, right? Oh, uh, I don't know if the mistap cost us. It would have been one extra guy on the board. I think the Teferi cost us.
Oh, Gaia's Blessing being legal and modern. That is interesting. I will keep this hand. I don't like having Guy's Blessing, but I do like everything else in it, so. Plus, Elfheim Druid lets us play around Syncopate pretty well. It already was in Modern, actually. It was in Time Spiral. Yeah, that's a good point. I like I like what you're saying right now. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, Guy's Blessing was reprinted in Time Spiral B. Yeah, no one cares about that in Modern. Don't be stupid. Wait, what happened? Pay one. Just play around all the syncopates. Uh, Time Spiral B is the the set of reprints. Um, that was in it, so. Well, hard to win a game when this is your hand, unfortunately. You go block, block. Seems good. We have to draw a card here, and they are tapped out, so it's pretty good. I can't cast it till next turn, though. comes big tefs no blocks <laughs> to the surprise of no one Seems pretty okay. Uh, waiting on the blessing would be fine, but um, the point was I just wanted to draw a card because we had nothing to do in our hand. So if we just sit here and do nothing against the deck who has Teferi and a seemingly better long game, uh, I think we're in worse shape. I wanted to keep applying pressure and keep playing things on my turn. I, I could care less about the incremental value. Like, the value of shuffling back random cards is pretty low. Whereas being able to actually play things on the board was significantly higher. So they can single pay for three right now. And our guy costs... Yeah, we have plenty of mana, so that should be good. Oh, they can single pay for five, actually. One, two, three, four. And oh my god, they're going to be able to single pay it. It's going to be miserable. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One shy of being able to pay for their syncopate. That's miserable, dude. I 
I mean, they have six cards and three single pates in their deck. The odds of them having a single pate is pretty high. So I'm waiting for three? For four? For five? For four. Yeah, this is actually what we want them to do. Yep, that is the bait. B -b 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 bait! Uh, they always draw it because they probably have two Tefries in their deck. <laughs> Either way, our board seems very good. Get jabated on. <laughs> Whatever that means. card debated <laughs> oh. do you just you bounce your own Tefri here you bounce your short sword oh you just don't bounce anything they also have five minutes to win this game so now we're at syncopate for three territory which I can pay for and I don't have to um, is it better to have Memorial on board? I don't know. They didn't equip the short sword. That's interesting to me. Oh, uh, the counter is broken on the on the actual on the page. Yeah, but currently we are at two hundred and ninety-seven subs, so we're three away. Um. D Manitub, did you sub today? D Manitib? Oh, because I got your trolley message earlier, which I thought was pretty hilarious. And I was like, I don't maybe this person doesn't even like me. And then you subbed, and I was like, oh, maybe not. Maybe so. Question is whether I Oh, Demanatib. Okay, cool. Kerwit, one yup. <laughs> I don't... Why are you the way that you are? Oh, boy. I don't know what the memorial... Memorial might not be relevant, but depending on what we draw, it might be. I think we can probably forego it. I'll just play an island here. It gives us double of everything. Blink is pretty good. So if we play it for... Oh, we can we can actually use this mana. Keep up one. That's pretty good. And if they syncopate this... Oh, they didn't. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna... I'll, we're going all at Tefri because that's your win con, so... I have no idea what just happened. I think I hit undo. Don't care. Kill him dead. Put him in your trash can. Thank you. This is where they play the second Teferi. And it's just like, well, you know what, buddy? Ah, oh, Dieb is, t is thief in German. Okay, that makes sense. The mana thief. Okay, cool. That that actually makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, I thought they were going to play another Teferi. I was about to cry. Are you going to equip? Oh, unicorn. Equip that boy. They also, now they, now they have four minutes to win the game. And uh, that seems ambitious. That was a good draw. Okay, this whole this whole thing is going quite well now. Mm 
<laughs> now who has the Teferi? My dad. Did we open that Karn yet? No. No, we did not. Are you just going to kill Tatiova? Sure. Deal. You going to pay a little unicorn? Oh, I'm going to replay my little unicorn. They have to win two. They have to win this game and the next game in a row. Because I don't think they're winning the next game. Or this game. How about I just put it on this guy? How about everything goes on this guy? So if you block here, you take six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'll risk that deal. You're probably gonna block here. You take six, seven, eight, nine, you go to two. Sure. And then we'll draw two at the end of the turn. We know you have a Unicron. There you go. History of Benalia? No. Interesting. You could kick that guy, but you chose not to. Intriguing. <laughs> I think we can wait for that one. One, two, three, four, five. It's Cloud Reader. Bottom both of these bad boys. As long as they want to play, I am game. Intriguing. Oh, you're going to do a thing. You're going to do a tricky thing. Blink that. Kill that guy. We'll trade. <laughs> Put it on you. They have three and a half minutes. Seems good for us, I guess. Time of ice. Rude. I guess we can just win here. Let's go to the next game where you gotta win in three minutes. Minutes. Well, this hand's rough. This hand's better. Bottom. Looking for them blues. Actually, that could be good. I don't think we'll get to that point, but could be good. <laughs> Every game. <laughs> Never don't have it. Because they have three of them. Maybe some islands. That's not an island. Target player shuffles with three target cards from their library into their graveyard. Sure. Enjoy your syncopate back. Jesus, three games in a row, huh? That's pretty good. No beats. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Yep. They have 
two and a half minutes. Sure. Look at all these triggers they have, which is pretty great. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So we're definitely not playing anything here, that's for sure. I just got that guy back? Wow, that's great. What a time to be alive. I'll take one. I don't think we can actually win this game. This is actually pretty sad. Uh, if we still want to kill Teferi, we lose every single one of our lands. Like, we've already discussed this, haven't we? Sure, tap my island. annoying <laughs> this is actually unbelievably annoying Island. Broken Bond seems pretty good. Wow. All three syncopates. Oh, that's just two. My bad. They only had two this game. Yep, just got to find an answer to the one Tempest Gin in order to win the game. <laughs> Actually unbelievable. Actually, that's pretty good.
Da -da 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 -da. Gotta target a thing, and we win the match with literally no seconds left on the clock. Holy smokes. Whew. I need to think I need a second for that one. Good lord. Unbelievable. Man, my adrenaline's like pumping right now. I think my hands are shaking. It was just so close, man. Oh, there's no, there was Hunter. That wasn't a hand. The adrenaline's super pumping right now. It was so close. It shouldn't have been that close. If we actually, we should have prolonged game two out a little longer. Get that mana shield. <laughs> I'm kind of glad this match is taking as long as it is because... I will play first. Do we keep this hand? I don't think so. I will keep this hand though. Yep, you can stay. Tefri forever is like the opposite because he died. He done died. Uh, it costs either... It, there's a bunch of different options for, for drafting on Magic Online. I can't show you at the moment because we're in the draft. That was a good draw. Look at this Talarian Scholar shutting down your Banalish Honor Guard like you do. Yep, that's a dude. Give me a blink, blink of an eye. There's no way you get in here, right? That's super aggressive. This is actually... I'm attackable here. Uh, there's no real reason. There's no real reason. If you want to trade here, that's totally fine. I think we can spore, swarm, 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 swarm. All right, calming down now. That's a good dude. That is a very, very good dude. Especially with a lance on. Come on, lands, dude. This guy's got vigilance trample and first strike. Is a seven five vigilance trample first striker with the with the lance on it. That's really hard to deal with, dude. What was what was awful about Black Panther? I actually don't understand that. That's interesting. 
I actually enjoyed it a lot. And I'm surprised to hear someone say it was awful. Like, saying it wasn't your favorite Marvel movie, that's one thing. But saying it was awful is, like, that's extreme. All right, now I'm feeling okay. All right, we got the lands for everything now. I'm feeling funny too. Yeah, this is not a profitable. Like, there's no no block here is profitable. We're just gonna bounce this dude. It was truly awful. Well, okay, you're not quantifying it with anything. You're literally just saying it was awful. It was far from excellent. It was an awful movie. You're not actually telling us why. You're not actually giving us any any uh, any critical reasons as to why it was not a good movie. I mean, yeah, right, but why? And like, but it, meanwhile, it's critically acclaimed. Uh, it has review. It has positive reviews from a, 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 a an extremely wide range of critics. So. I just find it interesting that uh, because yours is the unpopular opinion. There's already evidence why it was. It, so we're not, I'm not saying the reason you don't have to. You don't. Have, I'm not asking you to justify your opinion. Your opinion is justified because it's your own. We're asking you to explain your opinion, which are two different things. Yep, that's what I had a feeling you'd do. But you still take four, and we get to get this guy back with a nature's spot. Actually, I think we can actually wait till next turn to spiral. We can actually throw this guy away, get a spiral back. Yeah, so like here's the thing. The reason I'm asking you to quote-unquote justify your opinion, which I'm not, um, but it's because the movie got 97% of Rotten Tomatoes. So it is critically acclaimed, and the reasons that it's good are, are wide. It's vast. There is a vast approval rating of this movie. So pretty much everyone's in agreement that it's a good film. No one's saying it's, I mean, like maybe it's not amazing. Maybe it's not the best movie ever made, right? But it's good. And there are enough qualities of it for a an aggregate site like Rotten Tomatoes to have a 97%. So it's the, the good reasons, the movie that the reason, the reasons that the movie is good are well known. It's well documented. So when someone says a movie is not only bad or not only not your preference, but awful, the onus is actually on you at that point to, to explain why, because you are the outlier. That's why. That's why. Actually, we kind of want to make this guy big, big. So I'm just going to get the, an 8-8 eight eight is, is, uh, much bigger than anything else they have, so. At what point can we actually swarm them? Four two twos. So they have three blockers. They go block, block, block. They take a three two two. No, four two twos. They take eight, nine, ten, eleven. They go to one. That seems profitable. But any any future turn, Sylvan Awakening is just better. I think Zahid is probably the best play here, right? Let's not make it political if it has not been political yet. There's actually no reason to presume it's a political opinion. Yeah, I'm just going to play the Zahid. Putting the ones a lot, but we lose three guys, and then we only have three one ones on board. That's the problem, because it doesn't do anything. Awakening is terrible here. They go three five block the three two that dies, uh, or no, the two two on on, two, on three two. So this is a trade. Three five on two three, and seven five blocks the four four, and then they take three and whatever whatever damage. So they go to one. 
But then these guys aren't creatures. We've lost this guy and this guy. So next turn we have a 2-3 and three one ones. And they've only lost one creature. So it just, I mean, like the odds that they don't play two creatures is high. But like if we get one more land and one more guy on board, it's significantly better. And we can just win. So... Um, yeah, I'm just going to assume you don't have two pump spells and try not to die here, I guess. Yep, see, that was actually pretty good. See, because they actually haven't put anything else on the board. So, assuming that there's not a... Okay, that'll do. <laughs> I'm like, assuming that there's not a Wrath in the format, that's, that should do it. All right. I'm actually going to bring Broken Bond in. We saw at least one equipment, and it was very, very problematic, so. Strike one was the villain. The villain's name is actually Killmonger. The villain in the comic book has been has been Killmonger for years, since 1970s. Like, I mean, it's a comic book movie. Like, it's it's based on a comic book that came out 70 years ago. So, like, I mean, not 70 years ago, but in the 70s, right? Like, so, or actually in the 60s, even. So, like, I mean, that's just a not... You're saying, I don't like that they went with the source material. You can dislike that in 1960 they came up with a cheesy name like Killmonger, but you also have to appreciate that it was from the 60s, right? I mean, that makes sense to me. Um, The One True Moose, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Time Brood. I mean, if you, if you don't like that his name is Killmonger, you can't, like... Alternatively, his name is Captain America, right? Like, that's just, that's also a silly name, right? I mean, uh, is that 298? That is 298. You are correct. Um, I don't like this hand. I like this hand better. I like you. Not at all. Go away. Iron Man, right? Like, these names are generally, like, they're comic book based. And you gotta figure, like, I mean, it seems silly now, but in the 1960s, when the, when the character was created, like, there wasn't as much creative, like, not, not to say there wasn't as much creativity, there wasn't as much competition for creativity. So... Did you write about the police stop reacting to a joke like, oh, the reaction to the joke proves why trying to explain his point. I, I'm just explain. I'm, I'm literally defending you. You made, okay. So that's not fair. Um, that's not fair. You made a, you made a, you, 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 I asked you for credit. I asked you for, for criticism. You gave your criticism and then I gave a defense of that. Like, that's all that happened. Like, I don't think it's fair to say like, that's the reason why we can't agree. Cause that's not, that's not what happened. Wish I had it. The awesome Delp. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. One or oh my god, are we at two ninety nine? What a time to be alive. We can't really do much here. I would like to broken bond this, but I could care less to be honest. All right. Anyway, let's stop. I, it's getting a little. Uh... The only reason I didn't read above that was because. Um... I mean, I'm just having a hard time reading because I'm in the game. I'm playing Magic the Gathering. I'm playing Magic the Gathering, guys. Um, all right. Anyway, anyway. I think if we can stay alive, we win this game. So I'm just going to kill this because we have like five drop, five drop, six drop insane cards in hand. So I think we're doing, I think we're probably better. You know what? I will do this because if we trade, that's totally fine. I can get back my nature. I can get back this guy. And uh, that's pretty okay with me. Yeah, sure. Totally fine. I'll take a Gideon. I'll trade a Gideon's reproach for that. 
You're not a land, though. We'll play an ooze, and we'll nature spiral this guy. So we got things to do. Frank loves mountains. Just subscribe to the tier one sub. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. I do indeed love my mountains. That's not true. There we go. Mossy Beard with the sub. Thank you so much, Josh VS. Really appreciate it. Is that 300? Oh my god. Are we going to do it? I mean, I have no problem blocking all their things until they have no things left. We know they have a Baird in hand. That's not what we want to see. Oh my god, guys. It says 300 for the first time ever. The Excite is real. Look at it. It's glorious. The correct sub talent is right now 300. That's gas. Um, they're attacking with Baird. That's fine. I'll take two. Oh, oh my god, that was such a good draw. Looks like we made it. Oh, it was it's a worse draw now because they brought in Pierce the Sky, I guess. Well, that's cool. Um It's an aggressive attack. Dr. Fungenberger, a soggy five for you. Also, why you gotta Oh, wow. That was... Really? That's what you're going to do, Dr. Funkenberger? Okay. Whew. My God, 300. It's like Sparta up in here. Now I'm really feeling bad about this nature spiral, but... I'm wondering what these two, these two, these two videos are. Okay, one is cool and the gang is celebrate. Okay, that's good. The other is... Oh, the hungry howies. Oh, that's good. All right, we're having a good time. I think they. I think we, our 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 deck just went from zero to hero, or the the other way around, hero to zero. They have one card. We just have to deal with this guy. We can block here and take one. I'll go to two. Yeah, we got to draw. We have to deal with this bird. Oh, that deals with the bird. It temporarily deals with the bird anyway. My god. I'm sure we'll be... So here's the sad... The sad part is we'll probably be under 300 tomorrow. Because of, you know... Drops and things, but... Wow, I can't believe the Delthar is a heed. I can't believe we're already at... Beautiful chick... 300 beautiful chickens are cheering for you. Fantastic. Oh. Well, that's pretty okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one mana shy of playing this guy. Oh, found the mana. <laughs> I think we might just go to one here. And then if we need to, we can... I'm going to go to one here. One of those centuries yesterday. They have three cards in hand. We got three blockers and a gonna kill spell. That actually worked out quite well. <laughs> got a Gideon's reproach out of their hand. That is fine, considering we have this beefy boy.
Worm. Katorga, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Man, we're just killing it today. You guys are great. 301. All right, this guy lets us block Baird pretty well. And you're just a sweet dally, a salad boy. All right, we're alive at one life. Okay, we're dead now. Fantastic. What a top deck. Oh, boy. Good times, good times. All right, now we're going to bring in a Pierce the Sky. Nature Spiral is actually pretty good in that game. I think our deck is great. Being on the play should be preferable for us. Josh, it's totally up to you. You pick what you want me to stream and I'll stream it this week. So you just let me know. Totally up to you, buddy. Um... This is fine. Um, I'll keep this and hope we just draw lands, I guess. We got a nature spiral, so if they kill one of our lands. <laughs> oh, David, why are you a monster? Why are you an absolute monster? I'm gonna murder her anyway. I mean, if we draw lands, this hand is amazing. All right, we're doing it. Elk Tears, what are you sending here? Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate you guys so much. Also, why is there a version of that? That's terrible. All right, so this hand is just basically fantastic. And these guys are just, just hot poop. All right, well, we're doing well here. I can't watch any of these videos. You guys are utterly ridiculous. Twenty first centuries yesterday. I'll trade two for one. I'll two for one this guy all day. Nope, just gonna take five. Sounds good. Well sound good. Bear it again? All day. I wanna rock and roll all night. And cast my beard every day. I will actually oh. Huh. I want to keep both of these guys because that is a long game I can get behind. You are, you guys are my little dudes. My littlest dudes. Are mountains your favorite? <sighs> no. Maybe. They have one mana up. So they kill you. Sure. Either two for one or uh, your bird goes to the to the trash compactor. That was a good trade. I like that trade all day. This also feels like a good Yeah, this game just this game is just gas right now with Yavimaya Spore Swarm now and then into, into Spore Crown Thal. I think we just win. Yeah, you can have it. For the first time ever, you can have it. If they attack here, they're dead. They didn't attack? That's interesting. Do 
21st century is yesterday. I need you tonight. So they go block, block, block. It's all fine. They take three, four, five, six. Oh, aren't they dead? Don't have Gideon's reproach. Never didn't have it. Go to three, huh? Okay. How much Paper Magic do I play? Not a ton. I mean, I enjoy playing Paper Magic when I can, but it's so much easier to play Magic Online. I'm running out to grab a takeout from this new Taiwanese fried rice spot near me. You want some? Yeah, give me some uh, veggie fried rice. I'll have whatever you're having because we don't eat meat, so. I'll take five here. Gonna marry her anyway. Marry that girl. Spicy Jalapeno 3. Um, I think we just do that and try to win again. Even if you if you have oh, we just win. Alright. Woo! That was the best draft ever. Not only did we kill the Teferi deck, we went 3-0 and we got the 300 subs. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out my Patreon page. It's in the description and I'll see you guys next time.